Hi, welcome to part two of the uh, oak rocker and recliner that we're working on. Uh, I've got the back ready to start upholstering, but uh, when I pulled off some of the old fabric, I discovered there were a few little problems that we had to deal with first. So let me show you what I had to do to make sure that the back was ready to be upholstered. Thanks for coming to the shop. Well, I've started taking off the old fabric from the back and I've got some new fabric on its way. So I'm excited about reupholstering it, but I need to do some changes to the uh, structure of the back. It's interesting, and you learn all sorts of things about these chairs when you start taking apart the upholstery and everything. This chair pivots, it's a recliner, and this is the mechanism in the back that supports it. But they pivot on these uh, little brackets that fit in here like this. Now what I've discovered when I pulled back all of this fabric is that this wood here is a soft wood unlike the cross members that are oak. So they, these brackets were screwed into through the soft wood into the oak. And that's okay except what I discovered are these are the two screws from each side that were in there and neither one of them is original. This is a square drive. This is a Phillips. So those aren't original. So we're going to replace those. But what we need to do is to reinforce this. And um, this has all been done before. If you notice there's a tack here. This is carpet underneath here. This uh, split that happened here at one time, what somebody did was they put a through bolt going from here to here with a square nut on the bottom. And they did the same on this other side too. This one here, you can see that the, the hole that accepts this tenon is totally gone. You can see it can slide sideways. So we have no structure there to help support this. There's this screw here, but we have to do something to build up this wood here. Now this is a uh, softwood. Um, so, and, and I'm getting into a little structure with this carpet. So what I'm going to try to do is probably take out a portion here and replace it with a solid piece of wood. I may do it all the way in this area, but I really don't want to change the bolting structure. So I have to think about this, but you can see there's always a little surprise somewhere. So I was pulling out this little tack here. And it turned out not to be such a little tack. It's about uh, an inch and three quarters long. So it was going into the oak. But I needed that gone so that I can cut across here and add in a piece of wood to help reinforce this. I think what I've decided is I'm only going to take it down to this good wood here and come across here, drill a new hole for a new fitting here. And uh, then I'll fill all this with wood and glue and then go over it. So I'm going to take all of this out down to about this depth and then put in a splice there of a harder wood and then re-drill this hole out in that so it matches. This is where I'm going to cut it and so I'm using the block that I'm going to put in as a guide and so I'm doing some knife cuts along it and then I can come back and I can uh, take out the wood that's underneath there and then glue this piece in and hopefully that will create a good patch and I'm scribing this over and over because I really want to get a good description of what's coming out and so I can see that my new wood is going to follow this line and it's going to follow this line and end here 
and that's going to incorporate this hole into there because all this wood will go away. So now that we've got this all chiseled out, we're going to fit the new piece in here. And I think that's gonna work out really well. I'll put this little split part up at the top where it won't be seen. Well, none of it'll be seen, but I'd rather have that up there and have this as a solid piece that I can shape into here but I think that'll do. Now we have to figure out where our holes are. So we have the piece. This is drilled out. I used a Forstner bit. Um, I drew some lines to check to make sure that my hole was aligned. And now I'm going to be putting in some uh, glue around the, on this and getting it ready. And um, I want to make sure that there's plenty of glue around this area down here because um, I'll even let it run out a little bit because I want that to help reinforce that joint. And. Um, even put some in that hole where the screw will go later like so that should be good I'm using my fingers just to get this glue up here and onto the edges of this board here we go so fit that in and that looks pretty good get one clamp ready to go on over here okay we've got that where we want it wipe off some of the excess glue but I'll just put a piece of paper there so because I'm not going to put a block of wood in I don't see any reason to close down on that and uh, give it a good clamping. This just keeps the glue from getting on the clamp and then when I'm ready to remove the clamp, I don't have to worry. I can leave the piece of paper there, sand it off or whatever. Now we need to make sure that this is correct and in alignment for the hole. Nice fit. So we'll put the second clamp on this end. And we'll clamp right over that piece carefully. Okay, so we got the brackets done. We have this batting that we have to put back on, but we have the fabric that we're going to be working on and we're gonna start upholstering. But first, we wanna make sure that the direction of the fabric is right. Uh, so, cause it has a little bit of stretch one way, but not the other. And um, so let's go on with it. Now I'm positioning this strap and then I'll bring it around the back. I think that'll be fine. 
And um, let me show you about this mechanism on this uh, chair before I finish this so, up. Here's the mechanism. You push this button down, and it a, has a spring down here. which pushes it back up. It's a little sticky. I've been oiling it, trying to get it working all right. But what this does is then it operates that mechanism in the back and allows the slide, it releases along that gear. So this is the gear that I'm talking about. This is the rod that goes up through the arm comes down here and pushes against here which allows this to slide back and forth and this down here attaches to the chair so that rod will go back in once I get the back on and these springs return it to the upright position will pull it back the uh, arm that goes up through the back of the chair comes out here and attaches to this bar. And um, so as it goes, this will slide up and move the chair back and forth. So this is the entire mechanism here. Here's the finished chair. Um, I found out trying to put it back together that it's important to put the back on first because of the way those two pins are. When you set it in, it's almost completely back. You set it in and then bring it up. And then the seat bottom gets pushed in, uh, the back down and then the front pushed down. I think it turned out fairly well. This is the push button that I was talking about and you push it in and the seat comes up to the top then you push it back in when you want to recline it. Um, and um, that works fairly well. It's a little sticky. I have to work on that mechanism a little bit just to uh, free it up and make sure that it comes back upright. Um, but you see it locks in on different portions of that gear. And um, so this is locked in as, as a, a rocker. Um, but then you just push that in and then the back will go back to what you want and locks in and then you have a reclining rocker and then you just push that back in and it pops back up. It's a great design. I think it turned out well. I added this uh, strap here. It didn't have it um, uh, and the originals had buttons everywhere but I wasn't too confident in my uh, reupholstering uh, skills so I, I added this strap here to give it a little bit of a definition between the uh, base and because uh, this is so long. But I think it turned out well and uh, the back looks nice and uh, it's ready to go back to its uh, original owner. So I'm happy to uh, do this for them. I hope they like it. At any rate, I'm glad you guys came to the shop. This is part two. You can watch part one if you miss that one in my stream. You can go back and watch that, and um, that had more to do with doing the woodworking, and this one had to do with a little bit more of trying to work out the logistics of the chair and everything, but uh, it's a handsome chair. I'm glad you guys came to the shop, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming. Take care.